voice. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to, to kind of um, look at my notes, turn my pages, and hold the microphone. So can I just check, can everybody hear me? Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, keynote? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I was actually asked to do was just um, welcome you all, actually, to, um, to the Artworks Cymru conference. Um, and I'm really delighted to do that. I think this is a really important gathering, and I was really pleased to be here a couple of years ago and, um, and, and be able to say that at that point in time that the Arts Council was absolutely committed to supporting Artworks Cymru in its uh, uh, next phase of development. And we still are, and I'm going to sort of touch on that a, a little bit. So I did ask Rian what, what, um, if there were any kind of key things she wanted me to talk about, and um, she suggested that I might like to touch on participatory arts and its place in the wider <coughs> arts ecology, etc., etc. But as many of you know, two weeks ago, we had the Arts Council of Wales conference, a kind of a bit of a big thing in the uh, in the cultural and arts calendar. Um, and a number of you here would have been at that. And if you weren't at that, then the keynote speeches and um, presentations are, are, if they're not now, they're going to be available for you to look at. So that's a bit of a challenge for me today, actually, because as you uh, may be aware, um, that conference was focused on engagement and particularly participatory arts. The cabinet secretary for the economy, Francois Matarasso, the new chair of the Arts Council, all talked about the participatory arts. So I'm just kind of, oh, how can I possibly follow that? What do I say? What can I come here and, and talk to you about? And then I kind of paused for a moment, and, and I want us all to just pause for a moment and reflect on what I've just said. And that is that the Arts Council of Wales held a conference two weeks ago and the theme for that conference was participation in the arts. The Cabinet Secretary for the Economy told us at that conference that his ambition, and he said it on a number of occasions, was for everybody in Wales to be creatively active. And he considers the arts and cultural activity to be central to the area of government that he has responsibility for, for the economy of Wales. The arts and <coughs> culture is central to driving that forward. Our keynote speaker, Francois Matarasso, what more do I need to say, okay? <laughs> keynote speaker, Francois. And the speech by our new chairman, the Arts Council of Wales, talking about creative participation in the arts and that event is a real milestone it's a significant achievement i can't remember when an entire conference from the arts council of wales was devoted entirely to participation in the arts it's been tucked in there the odd little session now and again but this event was all about participation. A significant achievement and your achievement, and I genuinely mean that, that's your <coughs> achievement, because many of you have been working for many years in this sector, developing the practice, developing the work, delivering the work, and for a number of years without the recognition that that deserves. You now have that recognition. And I also think it's a, a significant achievement for Artworks Cymru, and I'll just come on to that. Artworks Cymru and the work that you've been doing over the last two to five years has really significantly raised the profile of participatory arts. <laughs> At the centre of the work that you've been doing is professionalising the sector. And it's interesting, Francois um, referred to this in his, in his speech about, and I remember the, the days early on when there was this kind of conflict between community arts practice, participatory arts practice, and people who chose that as their profession and their career were somehow regarded as second-class citizens within the arts um, sector. 
that is no longer the case. And that is due to the work that Arts Works Cymru has been doing. The training programmes, the development of resources, the toolkits, developing exemplar projects aimed at developing a set of shared standards and common understanding of what constitutes best practice in the participatory arts. All of that really, really important work that you have been um, developing. The quality assurance framework, a major piece of work that really sets out what this um, area of practice is all about. Through the work that you've been doing, I think there's now a better understanding of the common goals and characteristics of participatory practice across Wales. Um, and uh, developing a recognition that participatory practice can take place in a range of different settings and be delivered by different organisations, different practitioners, all of which have equal values. So I think there's been an equalising in terms of the practice, where it happens and what it is, over the last two years, particularly. Artworks Cymru has brought what I think has been, well, it's, it's a diverse um, sector, but also sometimes a fragmented sector. What you've done is brought those that together and significantly raised the profile of the activities and the impact that participatory arts can have amongst a wide range of partners, potential partners and stakeholders. All of which, as I've said, contributes to the significant, really significant achievement of two weeks ago. And I hope over the next couple of days that you will all take time to celebrate that, because you should, you should celebrate that achievement. Um, Rian also asked me to think about the future and moving forward with the sector and what's ahead for Artworks Cymru, and I know that's going to be part of your agenda over the next couple of days. Um, and I, I could talk about the importance of participatory arts, but... <laughs> That was done two weeks ago, so um, sorry, a bit of a rethinking there as well. But it is important, and it's important to the Arts Council. As I said, that was explained very clearly. And the role of Artworks Cymru is important. There's more work to do. Um, and we are keen to work with Arts Cymru to continue to deliver and support the work that you, that you want to be doing as we move forward. I think the success of Artworks Cymru lies in the fact that um, all of that work, the programmes of work, the agenda, the direction of travel, all of that is determined by you, the practitioners and the, and the sector. You own it, you drive it forward, um, you're delivering it, you're determining what needs to happen. We're then having the conversations and we're supporting what you're, what you're aiming to do. But, but significantly, that agenda is coming from the sector. So that's what needs to happen over the next two days. Um, you discuss, identify your priorities, um, what needs to happen next, and come back to us. We'll have that conversation and we'll look at how we can continue to support this important work moving forward. And I, I kind of thought, well, I said what I need to say. And I've ummed and ahed because there is something on my mind. And I've, I've debated with myself about whether I throw this in or, or, or I choose not to. Um, and I think I'm going to throw it in. Um, and it, it comes out of what's happening in the world, what's happening internationally, what's happened in the UK this year. Um, what's happened in, in Wales, and something that Francois said in his speech a couple of weeks ago um, that made me think about it a bit more. Um, and reflecting, as I'm sure many of you in this room have also done, reflecting on what happened in Wales around um, Brexit and how some of our communities reacted to Brexit, and particularly people from those communities where much of the work that you are doing 
and that we at the Arts Council are prioritising. What happened in those communities and how people in those communities reacted? And I think it's a concern and it's an issue and we need to bring it out. Francois talked about the three phases of what he called the restless arts, and I really like that, the restless arts. It's, it's very active, somehow, the restless arts. But he referred to um, the three phases of that, and then said the importance of the current phase is that it's focused on uh, cultural democracy. We've achieved a lot. Can you just explain the last thing about Three phases. I didn't get that um, Francois, Francois Matarasso talked about three phases in the development of uh, the rest, he, he called it the restless arts, restless arts. He talked about community arts being an early phase, um, cultural democratisation, so increasing and widening participatory practice, and we've really made advances in, in, in that sense. But he talked about the current phase being around cultural democracy. And many of you know that we've talked about cultural democracy here in Wales for, for quite some time. It's been on the agenda. Um, but I'm not sure how evident it actually is in terms of widespread practice across Wales. There are pockets where cultural, the concept of cultural democracy is really driving the work. But it's not, I don't think, I'm happy to, very happy to be challenged, I don't think it's widespread. And that, does that have something to do with the responses that we have seen from those communities? Does it reflect somehow the lack of uh, ownership and voice in those communities? So I want to to leave you with a question that maybe you'd like to give some thought to over the next couple of days, or a couple of questions. Is the concept of or practice of cultural democracy, so giving a voice to our communities, really supporting them to take ownership, the people in those communities to take ownership, to question, to challenge, is it central to what we're doing in this sector. You are the people who are really close to those communities and those people. Is it high enough on the agenda? And if not, what do we do about it? And if we feel that we need to do something about it, the next question is what is the role of Arts Works Cymru in helping that to happen. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you have a really good couple. I can stay around for a little bit today. Um, I can't be with you tomorrow, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes out of your discussion and deliberations over the next couple of days, and then to pick up with uh, Rian and colleagues um, about how we can continue to support the work as we move forward. Thank you.